wide majority of the stones that come from Villamayor quarries are used in the building sector. In order to use them as a construction or facade covering materials, it's necessary to perform a number of operations regarding cut and preparation. Route dressing refers to setting the adequate dimension to the stone block depends on its final function. These techniques aim at giving the stone block a regular prismatic shape with a smooth and perpendicular faces. With a put push, stone mason uses several tools such as square, rule, stone cutter, mallet, and chisel, as well as jackhammers sometimes. Nowadays, these pieces are prepared by big cutting machines with wells as large masonry is a specific work from which we can obtain different types of stone regarding their shape, size, curving state and use. Route Stone Stone pieces found without or with little craving and in irregular geometric shapes. As large pieces generally crave in parallel pipe shapes. They can also present irregular shapes such as the cave stone in arches and bolts. Small and sharp there are simple smaller shards which can be handled by one person. Slabs Gravid pieces with figures and geometric shapes and whose thickness varies between 3 and 7 cm. They are generally used to cover facade or pilaster sides. Slabs used in pavements whose thickness varies between 6 and 12 cm and appear curves with geometric shapes. A block is considered an slab when it's intended to be used for building a wall and it has particular shape and finish it depending on the type of construction. Up until a few decades ago, stones were construction elements as they were used to build walls starting from the foundation, staking out the cellars. Walls are built by placing rounds of our cellar and they shield in the joint with mortar. Mortar is made of concrete and clean and well sifting and mix it with water. Nowadays, it's uncommon to use stone as a building material for the construction of walls, but it's frequent to use them to cover them. In the past, Villarreal stone was used for support walls, and now it isn't used anymore. Other materials are used, such as brick or concrete, and then we use our stone to face the facade. Bueno, el proceso de la piedra franca, después de que habéis visto los demás reportajes, habéis visto que es un proceso laborioso en cantera y una vez cortada en nave, You've seen that the process of Villamayor stone is a laborious la one in the quarry. And once the stone is cut in the warehouse, eh, it is transported to the building site in lorries and tied up. Juntas, You've also cantero, seen how the joint cutter cuts. Eh, that is a quarry man that is adapting the length of the stone, the line as we call it, adapting it to the requirements of the cut. Adaptándola a las necesidades de la del corte. Y luego una vez que el cantero que ha cortado su piedra a la línea y al al largo perfecto. Then once the quarryman has cut his stone perfectly along the line lengthways, it is placed on the wall. As you can see here, the process is the following. The stone is lifted up to the wall and some nails are driven in because the gripping material of the mortar tends to grip the stone badly. So the process is to drive in the nails, as you've seen in the report, and put it in place with a plumb line and some wooden wedges. And then the mortar is laid, normally with a half foot supporting brick, a tras dos as it's called, leaving a space of two or three centimeters between the brick and the Villa Mayor stone for the layer of mortar. Y dejando entre el ladrillo y la piedra de Villamayor una, un espacio de 2 a 3 centímetros para la carga de mortero. Y este es todo el proceso de, de la piedra de Villamayor.